Yes, friends. How do you discipline yourself to lose weight? Can you tell me? Any guesses? Well, I'll help you out. Weight loss. Weight loss is a word at present right in the air. Right in the air. Every third or fourth person is obese. And obesity is increasing day by day. Now, fat loss. Everyone says eat less, exercise more and you can see the fat melting away. This is the simplest uh, concept in the mind of the people. Everyone wants to lose weight and they want to lose weight, uh, weight just as the way a fast food is served in front of you. Followed. So losing weight doesn't mean it will be permanent. For long term weight loss, the usual meal plan doesn't seem to be working. So, I'll give you some ideas, I'll give you some uh, topics, I'll give you some points, do listen to it carefully. So, now you are ready to find out the secrets of successful weight loss. First, yes, first let us know what is the reason of weight gain, only then we will go for the weight loss, isn't it? Well, how do you gain the weight? Whenever you consume more calories than your body's requirement, you will gain weight because you are neither burning those uh, calories nor you are using those calories in any physical activity. So, you are going to gain weight. For a healthy body, you have to practice the 80-20 rule where 20% is exercise and 80% is nutrition. Now, what you have to do? That is the point. I will give you some points on which you have to work. What you have to do is exercise, healthy eating, self monitoring and consistency. These are the important steps which will, on which if you work you are going to achieve your weight loss goals. Now first let us talk about 20%. 20% is exercise that does not mean overhauling of the body. Got it? You have to have regular basic exercise which will include the cardio strength training and flexibility exercises. These exercises have got different, uh, what do you call purpose? When we talk about the burning of the calories, these exercises, all the three, I am talking about all the three, cardio, strength training and flexibility exercise. They will burn your calories, they will build up your muscles and at the same time the connective tissues will be flexible so that you can move your joints properly and easily. By the way, sometimes I do not do exercise, I do not feel like doing exercise, what I do? Just go for a walk, that is the best thing. If you are not able to do exercise, if you are not feeling not in a mood, go out for a walk. Then comes the healthy eating, that is the 80 percent of the 100 percent health. Now in 80 percent we have got healthy eating. This healthy eating includes the foods which have got low calories, low fats, high fiber and high proteins. Never ever miss the breakfast. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. If you miss breakfast, your BMI is also going to suffer. The persons who take the uh, breakfast regularly, it is helping them in lowering their BMI or come down to the level of the obesity. Your level is coming down. For a better design diet or a meal plan, consult your health coach. Never ever miss your health coach because he is the one who is going to guide you in everything of the activities from morning to night. He is going to tell you the portion size of your food. He is going to tell you how to calculate the calories. He is going to guide you the fruits and the vegetables which has got higher fiber and what you should take, when you should take everything. Then comes the self-monitoring. Different levels require different levels of calories. We think that whatever a child or a 20 or a 40 or a 60 or a 70 aged person reads is the same calorie. No. The calories are consumed when you are, the, the calories which you consume are different at different levels. Followed. You can keep a food journal, a journal with you in which you write down everything. You can keep a uh, weight journal in which you can write down the weights which you take after every second day or third day or fourth day. After a week when you go through it, you will come to know. 
that what you ate and what was your weight. You can connect that everything. Well, temporary weight gain can be there of 500, 600 grams, but no, that is not the point. You will come to know where is your mistake and then you can correct it. This is self-monitoring. That also a coach can teach you very well. Followed. And for this, you will have to take your coach who is guiding you and for that, in return, you will be get, Jimmy, achieving your weight loss goals. Consistency. Yes, that is the part. Consistency. You do anything in the life to learn, to get, uh, uh, change your habits, to acquire a new attitude. Everything depends on consistency. Eat healthy meals. No cheat meals. Disciplined life. Wow, fantastic results for you. The more constant the diet, the more likely the members to maintain weight and after weight loss for years and years. In the end, I would only say that weight loss is a slow or average process, but a steady one. It is a process that requires vigilance, commitment and disciplined life every day, every day, every day. Don't miss any day. Get away from the comforting bad habits and replace them with the better ones. Followed? Here I have got a small disclaimer for you. No results are typical. It varies from person to person. Now I have a request for you. Do share this video and let everyone understand that if you go for a healthy weight loss, you are going to sustain it for a longer period year after year. But you need a coach for that. Okay? Have a good day. Thank you.